kids are uh, Moldovan orphans, but also Ukrainian orphans and refugees. They're learning to play football. Never seen football in their life. Teaching American football in Moldova, a bunch of orphan kids, some refugees mixed in, Ukrainian refugee kids. With the catch and some speed, she's down. All right, so here's the deal. These are Moldovan orphans who've been in their children's home camp here and some Ukrainian refugees. We're in the country of Moldova. We're teaching these kids how to play football. We brought them, they love the game. The quarterback is J.D. Dranker, U.S. wounded warrior who plays in the United States Wheelchair Football League. As a quarterback, I think he was all pro for them last year from New Orleans Saints for, uh, team that they've got. A friend of mine was wearing some Bengals stuff. I've got some Jet stuff. And uh, so we said, well, let's put throw them on the kids. Yeah, that ain't happening here. Holy goodness. You ready? Get the I think I think the NFL's contract with Dr. Sam to do a football volley. That's the only thing I can figure out. <laughs> this guy has been climbing steps in orphanages in, in Poland, Ukrainian kids, three flights of stairs. This ain't nothing. So it's not that we're showing no pity. I mean, he can do way more than any of us can do. Jets step on the field, we score immediately against the sorry Bengals. Hey, what can I say? The week number three, buddy. You'll meet me in New York for the Jets Bengals game. I think I pulled my hammy. I think that was it. And jet season's over. Joe Douglas makes a trade.
Every one of these kids has a story. This is the part we miss, because they look just like any teenager in the U.S. Same hopes, dreams, aspirations. It's one of life, you know? And so a lot of their parents have passed away, or maybe their dad passed away, and their mom didn't have any money, and they ended up being an alcoholic. Some of these kids grew up with abuse and things like that. But we, they're in our houses now, they're safe and protected. We had five girls out here, three of them are gonna be trafficked in Ukraine and Moldova. Three out of five, that means they'll be taken against their will, sold in a foreign country, then prostituted out on average 12 times per night. 48% of the orphan boys and girls end up dying before their 20th birthday. That means half of the kids you see right here will be dead in less than three years. We take them, we put them in safe homes all across Moldova. We're helping refugees out of Ukraine and into safe locations showing the same thing. We just came from Poland. We had 100 kids there we're helping. I mean, we had a, a whole work in, in Hungary, a whole work in Romania, a whole work here in Moldova. We've been doing this since 2014. This is not new for us. We, we fight the Russian. We're protecting kids from the Russian military, and they were protecting them from the Russian mafia, the, who are the traffickers. New York Jets, first time. He ran out of his flip-flop. He, he took I off the, the kid, celebrate. Right